Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, as Brady said, I'm Wes Askew, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Flow Labs, and we are powering better outdoor experiences. So the other morning, I decided to go for a surf before work. My alarm woke me up well before sunrise. I checked several different surf reports. I checked the wind. I checked the weather. And in between all that, I also had to coordinate with my buddies over text about which boards to bring and where to paddle out. Then I drove for 30 minutes to the beach before deciding where to actually paddle out. And I did all of this just so I could sit in freezing cold water for an hour, catch a single wave, and head back just in time for work. So I know this probably doesn't sound like an amazing experience to most of you, but I actually do this a lot. And that's because when I do catch a wave, those few seconds in that moment keeps me coming back again and again. And I'm not alone. There are three million surfers in the US who are hooked just like me, spending a billion and a half dollars every year on surfboards and other hard goods. In fact, there are 140 million Americans in the US who spend over $600 billion every year chasing outdoor experiences like these. And like me, all of these people are crazy about those moments, despite the fact that it takes a lot of effort to get to the right place at the right time with the right gear and the right people. So in the last several years, we've seen how data can improve our daily lives. Waze optimizes our commute with crowdsourced traffic information, and there are countless uh, virtual assistants that keep our busy lives organized and simple. So why can't the outdoor community have the same thing? Well, they do now. Meet Drop, the first intelligent assistant designed for a life outdoors. It's an app and connected sensor that get, gathers information about you and your community to help everyone create better outdoor experiences. So let's take a look at how uh, Drop works for surfers, our first customers. Drop attaches to your board and quietly logs everything about your session, from how many waves you caught in context of the conditions to every detail of every ride. And where Drop really shines is in using this data to make personalized recommendations for when and where to surf and what gear to use. And we've built messaging directly into the app, making the, uh, making the conversations you already have with your surf buddies richer, faster, and easier. And because Drop can share real-time information directly from the water, we can let you know where your buddies are and the quality of their session directly in the app and directly in those messages. So for the first time ever, surfers now have a tool to discover new insights in the patterns of their surfing, explore personalized surf reports and content, and connect with their community in a whole new and immersive way. But we didn't build Drop just for surfers. We built it and designed it for those 140 million Americans I spoke about before. So expanding into a new sport is as simple as updating the app. There's no need for new hardware. Now, to truly understand the value of Drop to our customers, you have to understand how these people spend time in outdoor experiences. Only 20% of the experience is, uh, only 20% goes to the experience itself. Another 30% is spent reliving that experience. And this is an area that GoPro revolutionized, uh, and others quickly followed to chase that success, including action sports trackers, uh, who try to help athletes relive their experiences and relive their moments through metrics rather than immersive video. But where the real pain lies is in the largest part of this pie, the time spent planning and getting to those experiences. And this is the part of the experience that Flow Labs wants to own. Because we believe people should spend more time doing what they love and less time with the stuff that gets in the way. And our entire team shares this vision. We're all passionate about the outdoors, and we're all accomplished engineers from some of the top hardware and software companies in the world. Shane and I met while working at Google X on advanced sensor technologies for digital health. We were recently joined by Carson, uh, who was a lead engineer for Google Glass, as well as Chris, uh, who was a former head of engineering for Asana. We've also assembled an amazing group of advisors um, who bring deep experience in areas where we are not yet experts. As for the business model, we expect our early revenue to stem primarily from device sales. But as the community grows, so does the value of data uh, that we're gathering, unlocking new consumer and business-facing revenue sources, like subscriptions, targeted ads, as well as Almanac data. We are well on our way to selling our first devices next year. Up to this point, we've raised $275,000, largely from angels who are just as passionate about the outdoors as we are and truly believe in our vision. We recently announced applications for our beta program, which was oversubscribed in the first few days of opening. And now we're completing the build of 100 devices, one you see here on the board, 
uh, and we'll be releasing the first 10 this week to our first select users for early feedback. To hit our goals for next year, we're seeking $1.5 million in seed capital. This enables us to launch our pre-sale campaign in 2017 in the summer, uh, launch and ship our commercial product in the fall, and launch our snow beta uh, in the winter. Thanks so much for your time, and I look forward to speaking with many of you after the presentations.